Japanese engineers broke the world record for the highest internet speed, achieving a data transfer speed of 319 terabits per second, nearly twice as fast as the previous record of 178 terabits per second, which was set less than a year ago. A study presented at the International Conference on Fiber Optic Communication in June has revealed that Japanese engineers recently broke the world record for the highest internet speed, achieving a data transfer speed of 319 terabits per second TB /S. The new record was set on a fiber cable that stretched over 3,000 kilometers, and it appears to be compatible with the current cable infrastructure. The transmission speed is nearly twice as fast as the previous record of 178 terabits per second, which was set less than a year ago and seven times faster than the previous record of 44.2 terabits per second set by an experimental photonic chip. The American space agency NASA itself uses a pretty basic speed of 400 gigabits per second, GB slash S. However, the new record rises high above the current speed available to the customers. In regions of Japan, New Zealand and the United States, the fastest home internet connections reach 10 gigabits per second. This new achievement was made possible by combining existing fiber optic infrastructure with more advanced technologies. Instead of the traditional standard core, the research team used four cores, which are glass tubes placed in the fibers that transmit data. Using a technique called wavelength division multiplexing WDM, the signals are then separated into numerous wavelengths and broadcast at the same time. To carry more data, a rarely used third band is added, and the distance is increased using various optical amplification technologies. The new system starts the transmission process with a 552-channel camelaser fired at various wavelengths. Dual polarization modulation is then applied to this light delaying some wavelengths to create distinct signal sequences, and after that, each of these signal sequences is fed into one of the optical fiber's four cores. Data is transferred via 70 kilometers of optical fiber until it reaches optical amplifiers, which boost the signal on its long journey. The signal passes through two new types of fiber amplifiers, one doped in thulium and the other in erbium, before continuing on its path in the traditional Riemann amplification process. According to Japan's National Institute of Information and Communications Technology, NICT, the signal patterns are then guided into a fresh piece of optical fiber, and the team of Japanese researchers was able to send data over a distance of 3,001 kilometers by repeating this process. After the protective cladding is taken into account, the four-core optical fiber has the same diameter as a typical single-core fiber. It means that the new method will be considerably easier to integrate into existing infrastructure than prior technical overhauls of social information systems. However, not only have Japanese scientists blown the 2020 record out of the water, but they have done so with a novel technical solution that can be easily integrated into the modern fiber optic infrastructure. Japan's primary National Research Institute for Information and Communications NICT stated that it would continue to develop wideband, long-distance transmission systems and explore how to further increase the transmission capacity of low-core count multi-core fibers and other novel STM fibers. Further, we will work to extend the transmission range to transoceanic distances.